Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I want to give you guys a tutorial based off my new song called Resist. Uh, in it, I do some vocal chop sort of fills, and in my opinion, it's kind of an advanced way of doing vocal chops. Typically, when people do vocal chops, they just, you know, take a vocal, they cut up different parts of it, and that creates a melody. Now, the problem with this is if you don't have a good ear, you're kind of just doing what sounds good, and sometimes I like to actually do real melodies that I play on a keyboard and then have each note be replaced by a different vocal sound. So let me show you how I did this. So let's listen to the song here, and I'll point out the uh, fills I'm talking about. <laughs> That would be one. So that one too. Notice how each hit is a different vocal sound. There as well. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this one. This one is a bit more complicated and it takes a lot more steps. But once you finish building this tool, it's a beast. It's an absolute beast. So what it is, is an Ableton rack where you have a bunch of samplers stacked and you can switch between the different vocal chops. And let me show you. So I'm just going to grab some MIDI here. So we have a MIDI sound here, and I'm just going to grab a sampler. Now what this looks like if you do it with a single vocal hit is this. So you can, what you do is you take vocals and you find single sort of vowel hits within them, or you find one shot libraries like ones that I've created. So once you know the note that the sound is, you have to set the root note in sampler. Now this was a bit easy because my vocal one shot actually said the note. It's a lot harder when you take something else. So, so let's say this one here, and we just grab the... What you need to do is find out what note you're actually playing. To do that, I actually grab the tuner device and see how when I'm playing a C right now on my keyboard, this is displayed as a B. So I need to change this root note until this tuner says C and then I detune it until a C is a C. Now this is in concert tuning. So what you do is you do this as many times as you possibly can. You create a rack, you duplicate, you turn the one off, turn the next one on, or solo, and you find a different vocal and you do this. So similarly, find a single note. And you're going to get tuner. So that's an F sharp. And that's a perfect C. There we go. So now we have... C. C. Now, what you're going to do is, again, keep doing this. Keep stacking. You can do up to 128. Once you have 128, and I recommend you spend an afternoon doing it, you go into the chain selector view. Now, how the chain selector view is anywhere this blue selector is, if the track has its own little 
marker underneath the selector, that's the one that will play. Nothing's playing. This one's playing. So what you can do is you can set up a chain selector by stretching one out to the full value, right click distribute ranges equally, so each of the 128 would have a different position. And now this slider will toggle between different sounds. Now what's cool is when you build up a big rack of this, and I'm going to quickly show you guys one, you end up with something like this. So ignore my effects rack because this is a completed one that I created a long time ago called the Cymatic Cosmic Vocal Rack. And uh, if I slow this way down and I change the sample selector, each different position will pick a different vocal. So what's really cool is now you can create these patterns of different vocal sounds per note. So now we can both play melodies and switch out the vocal sample per note. I love it. It just becomes this really fun tool. This really cool, unique vocal chopping rack that is uniquely yours. So there we go, guys. That is my advanced way of chopping vocals inside of Ableton. If you liked it, maybe go check out the track that I implemented this idea on called Resist, featuring Austin Neufeld. He does the vocals on it. It's off my forthcoming album called Universe. Your support helps so much, be it a repost on SoundCloud, throwing it in a Spotify playlist, even just sharing it or sharing this tutorial. It helps so much. So thank you, guys. My name is Kermode. Have a good one. Peace.